everybody. I just did a TikTok inside of three minutes on the same subject, which we're going to do the long version now, send it to my hard drive and to YouTube. Bernard Eugene Beringer Jr. archived on YouTube. Search. You'll find me. 15th chapter of 1 Corinthians speaks of a trumpet being blown. There are the seven angels, and there's the last trump of the seventh angel being blown in Revelation. And I have a trumpet on my back wall. I can blow it real loud. I can't play it real well. I, I, I had a trumpet for one year in fifth grade. Tried to, I couldn't read the dots on the paper. Even though I had good tone, I could blow it. I could play a couple of songs by memory, a couple of Satchmo songs. But uh, we traded the trumpet in after one year on a Sony reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. <laughs> okay, 1 Corinthians 15th chapter, there is a natural body, natural first on earth, breathing air, and then born of the spirit second. And we live as a human being in image, and then we cross over our spirit soul in a new glorious body in the likeness, spirit soul being likeness of God, angelic light being. We can enter into the light without disintegrating. Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. The word says so. We're going to read it, 1550, 1 Corinthians. And uh, so here we go. 1542, so also in the resurrection of the dead, it is sown in corruption, it is raised incorruptible. That's why flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Flesh and blood decays, goes back to dust, it's corruptible. It is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness, it is raised in power. Who they do power of God. And there's a scripture that I don't like uh, in Acts about Paul's ministry to turn them from the power of Satan. And then it says to God. And it's turn them from the power of Satan to the greater power of God. I, I think they're missing a couple of words. God has greater power than Satan. It's both spiritual power but God's power is greater. Hallelujah. 44, 1544, 1 Corinthians, in case you decided to open your word and follow along. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. Our spirit souls get to take on two kinds of bodies if we're beloved believers in the eternal God, immortality dwelling in the light. Infinity, internal being, God, Yava, Yah for short. Y-A-H, hallelujah. Praise ye God, hallelujah. Y-A-H for short. Hallowed, L-U-Yah. That's how I teach it. I can break it down on a whiteboard. It's pretty cool. 45, and so it is written, first man, Adam, was made a living soul or being. God breathed into him soul spirit and turned him on. Didn't say God breathed air into him, said he breathed his breath, soul spirit, life into him and turned Adam on and he went, <sighs> he took air through his nose into his lungs for the first time after God breathed spirit, soul, life into him, turned him on. And then the oxygen in the blood sustains the brain for the electrons to fire, to energize your spirit, soul, your mind, heart, your conscience, things unseen. Adam was a living soul, and the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. You're quickened out of the grave in a new glorious body, your spirit soul still living, the likeness of God still living. 
There's only one man, human person in the Godhead that is in the image of God. That's the Lord Jesus Christ. All else is invisible spirit likeness, likeness before image. The enemy twisted it in the scriptures where it says, let us make man in our image. It's let us make man in our spirit soul likeness. Image is not till Adam and Eve on earth that can be seen. A human person image, one mediator, one human person, one person in the Godhead, not three persons. Okay? It's two likenesses and one image. It's two spirituals and one person. Hope you got that one. 46, how be it? That was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural. Afterward, that which is spiritual. You must be born, Nicodemus, of the Spirit. You were born of womb, woman's womb water, but now you got to be born of the Spirit. And it's not reborn. It's born anew, renewed, regenerated in the Holy Spirit. Uh, Titus 3, 5. Very, very important scripture. Let me remind you again. Get a pen. Write it down. Titus 3, 5. And the washing there is not John the Baptist wet water H2O Jordan River baptism. It's the one baptism of the Holy Spirit, the Lord's baptism. Spiritual baptism, spiritual washing, inside washing by the Holy Spirit word truth. Woo, said a lot right there. Couple of teachings. 47, the first man is of the earth earthy. The second man is the Lord from heaven likeness. Lord from heaven likeness. That becomes image after he's born of the woman's womb water. He becomes image person. Only one mediator man image person between humanity and God, the creator, the father, Yah, Yavah. And yet I believe I'm saying this, so I could be wrong. I believe that Yahweh, modern Hebrew, is more correct than Yahweh Palian, if it is Wah. But I find no figure in Hebrew or Aramaic for the sound Wah or the sound of the J for Jesus. That's why Jesus, the Lord Jesus' name is Adonai Yahshua or Yahoshua. And I believe that the Father's name, the third letter, is always Vivai Vavar Vet in Hebrew, never Wa. So, if we're going to get in an argument or any contention over the last half, whether it's Yahweh or Yahweh, let's just let the Holy Spirit deal with that, and we'll just go with Yah, the harmony, the one love, the believing. Y-A-H is God the Father, and Y-A-H is the son's name in short form. Senior and junior, they both have the same short form name of Y-A-H, the way Christ. <laughs> All right, 48. As is the earthy, such are they that are, that are earthy. And as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly or spiritual likeness and as we have borne the image of the earthy we shall also bear the likeness of the heavenly all right heavenly is not a human person image heavenly is a glorious body a light being a spiritual an angel that can be invisible Think of what I'm saying. Verse 50, 15, 1 Corinthians 15, 50. Now this I say, brethren, this is Saul Paul of Tarsus teaching, that flesh and blood cannot inherit or be joint heirs in the next world, the next realm where you live without breathing air, okay, cannot inherit the heavenly kingdom of God. Neither does corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed 
in the moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. That's 10 minutes, so I'm going to end. The trumpet, the last trump, the seventh trump, the seventh angel is about to sound and blow his trumpet. Read, read about the trumpets in Revelation and what's connected in the realm around it. What's going on? What's happening? It's time. Get ready for the trump. I'll end with this. Oh, no, I got to end. Here, uh, 51 and 52 of 1 Corinthians 15th chapter. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed in the moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trump shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. I'll tell you what I did one night. I took my trumpet. They were playing soccer across the street, the big soccer fields, and they were quite noisy, everybody over there. And I went to the corner of the parking lot and blew my trumpet as hard as I could, and it got quiet across the street because GCU claims some Christianity, all right? So when I blew the trumpet, uh, the volume of cheering and carrying on across the street dropped to almost nothing. <laughs> some of them knew about the sound of the last trumpet. Love you. You know, God has a sense of humor and sometimes it's expressed through his servants. I love you. Bye.